And now we have our consumer spotlight coming up. Wonderland Records is our consumer spotlight, and we're going to learn about some trends in music. Uh, from Wes Red, the manager of the New Ark store, and Donna Brown, the manager of the New Pike Creek Valley store. Welcome, Wes. Welcome, Donna. Hi, Wes. How are you? Okay. Uh, Wes, let's talk about Wonderland. Um, so, where are you located? Uh, in uh, New Ark, Pike Creek Shopping Center, and in Falcon Amons Road in Wilmington. Mm -hmm. uh, Donna, what do you carry besides records? Well, in my store we have... Uh, Your store. <laughs> well, no. I mean, it's different in all three stores, but at the, at the one that I work, they we have uh, mostly records, but we have home videotapes, which is a an ever-growing market and bumper stickers and buttons have stuff having to do with rock and roll and posters that kind of thing mm -hmm. now Wes, when did the first store open uh well uh, the owners of uh, uh, robert croft and larry fenza took it over uh about 1972 in newark mm -hmm. yeah. now Wes, you tell us about the, the newest trends what's happening in um, in music uh, about the audiophile albums and so forth well that's that's an interesting trend uh, it seems like uh, i don't know i don't know for want of uh, better albums or something like that. There's a, a market in, uh, in a more expensive, uh, better, uh, better produced uh, albums like uh, Original Masters mm -hmm. and uh, Direct This and uh, Digital Recordings. Now what are these albums? How are they different from regular albums? Well, the, uh, the Original Masters, uh, they take uh, uh, the original tapes and they don't alter them like as an example like the Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon which you have there. I have there. two albums right here. Yeah, the, uh, one's a conventional album, one's a, an audiophile and they slow down the tape and uh, they can reduce all the distortion out of the recording and also they package it differently. You see this shrink wrap here which is, does a real good number of uh, shrinking the uh, album uh, along with the shrink wrap uh, and this is packaged in a loose uh, shrink wrap. You know, so they try to make it a little better uh, you know, production all the way around. You mm -hmm. know? Now I, I know at home I have the, uh, the 1812 Overture on, um, on uh, direct to disc and uh, when the cannon go off you feel like there's cannon in the room. Is that the one where you can see the grooves like uh, just visibly move? Yes, and stuff? it's incredible. <laughs> the, the, uh, the quality is different but of course the, it's cost more too. Yeah, it, it's, it's real strange. For $16 you know you can buy a mobile fidelity and it's really strange that people actually go in and buy these things. I guess they just, uh, I guess the records are getting so, conventional records are getting so bad. Uh, vinyl and everything like that, they use version vinyl. Like, like there's absolutely a market there. Mm -hmm. What type of artists are recording on direct to disc and master recording and uh, digital? Well, the direct disc and the digital recordings, that seems to be their one big failing that, uh, at least for now, uh, they're, most of the artists are very obscure. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the original masters are kind of neat because it like, takes your favorite album, like uh, you know, anything from uh, Trick of the Tail by Genesis to uh, you know, George Benson Breeze, and, and uh, they don't alter the tape, so you get a, an album uh, recorded the way it should be recorded, I feel. You know, just a quiet, quiet record, and all, all you hear is the music. Mm -hmm. now, is there a wide selection of audiophile type albums now? Uh, um, there, there are. You know, three or four. There's. I just read. There's something coming out now with it's like an audio, uh, an audio disc. Uh, it's about this the size of your hand or something like that, and it's like a, a full LP album. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's great. I got to buy a new set now. You know? <laughs> uh, Donna, let me ask you. Uh, what's the biggest sellers right now in albums. Who are selling really big? The Police are probably the biggest, followed closely by Genesis and the Rolling Stones and the Kinks mm -hmm. and I don't know, a lot of the old groups are big. Is there a resurgence in the old groups? Oh yeah, because well they've always been putting out albums like the Kinks and the Rolling Stones the last few years, which just they haven't been putting out real good albums, whereas they are now and people realize it. Well no, it's it, it's true. I mean, it's mm -hmm. thing. everywhere. I think everyone will admit that the Stones have been weak lately, but mm -hmm. they've improved. Now, what about so. local bands uh, such as um, Johnny Neal Band, Dakota, Markley Band, uh, Jack of Diamonds? Are they coming on strong in sales? Well, they do initially. Usually, when they first come out, like Dakota did well. It's out of print now, mm -hmm. and it's only been a year. Hooters. Well, the Hooters don't have an Hooters. Uh, Jack Hooters of Diamonds will sound real good. The rest of them mm -hmm. really aren't doing a whole lot. Jack of Diamonds will be on our show next week, and the Hooters will be on our show, I think, in December sometime. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, they are real good. <laughs> Well, it sounds like there's a lot happening locally, um, and I want to thank you two for coming on and telling us about music trends. Well, thanks, Bob, for asking us. And, uh, oh, by the way, for the first caller who calls in now, 652-4424, you're going to win a free gift certificate to Wonder Sound, Wonderland. Wonderland. Right. Wonder, Wonder Sound. So yeah, call right Wonderland. in, 652-4424, and you'll win yourself a free album. And now I want to tell you about next week's show. we got Harry and D Diane Levin from Happy Harry's over here. Rock group Jack of Diamonds, as I said before. Jerry Fulcher, the editor of Community Views. John Maloney, magician, and a lot more. See you next week.